Welcome back, my third graders. Today in math, we're going to be looking at some division word problems. And in these problems, we're going to see how we can use the first problem to help us solve our second problem. So the first problem we're gonna look at today is it says there are 20 first grade students in Mrs. A's class. If she puts them in groups of four, how many groups will there be? We know that there's 20. She wants to put them in groups of four. So I'm going to put four in my first group. I need to get to 20. That's not enough. I'm gonna add another group. Four plus four is eight, still not enough. Four plus four plus four is 12, still not enough. Four plus four plus four plus four is 16, still not enough. But I know I'm getting closer. I'll make one more group of four, say if I'm there. Four plus four plus four plus four plus four, or we could say that's four times four, gives me 20. So I know that there's one, two, three, four, five groups. So how many groups? There will be five groups. In this next problem, I'm going to use what I learned from this problem to help me solve this problem. It says there are 28 students in Mr. B's classroom. If he puts them in groups of four, how many groups will there be? Well, I know that five groups makes 20, and I know that eight, if I double four, will give me my extra group. So I know that I need to draw at least five groups. all with four in them. So far, we've done four times five equals 20. I need to get to 28, so I know I need to add at least one more group, which gives me 24. Another group will give me 28. So I could say this is like doing four times five equals 20. Four times two more groups gives me eight. 20 plus eight equals 28. And I saw a couple of you do that on your workbook page from yesterday. What I would like you to do is try the next page on your own that's included in the document.